a do. Okay, so yeah, I just jumped right in. Oh my god, we died. All right, so basically, what happened was uh, there was a mod that specifically upped the whole difficulty, making it extremely almost impossible for me to progress while we were going ahead and trying to kill the solar pillar event you guys were all there so i had to go through e through each and every one of my mods disable go in the game test it out see which ones killed me faster then re-enable the ones of course that were safe and i found the single culprits that screwed everything up and it was the pumpkin mod so i had to get rid of it otherwise the whole game would be completely imbalanced However, there is still the means of hard mode and stuff. There's no music here. Yeah, there is still like hard mode, super, super duper hard mode. As soon as we kill Moonlord, that should happen. But now, not everything will one-shot me. But as you can see, the enemies still do an okay amount of damage. So, for some reason, the enemies are a little buffed, but not that much. And what I think happened is um, there are a couple of mods that I have that increase the enemy's difficulty but the pumpkin one made it so it was just insanely over just you know just crazy 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 all right so we're gonna for some reason clear out this goblin army that's here and then we're gonna continue the solar pillar events and then we'll go from there I have some pretty awesome items in my inventory I want to show you guys in a second once of course i get there also live streaming on the twitches of course thank you guys for being here for following who's the last one who followed the oh cool one two three oh, cool -ay. Cool -cool -cool -ay. Put this down let's look to our inventory okay don't care don't care i picked up a bunch of heart plumes which look at that permanently increases my maximum life by five i got this from killing the solar pillar so maybe we can go above 500 plus I'm going to try to stream every single day for you guys, so hopefully you guys can follow the channel and jump jump by whenever I'm live. I'm really, really trying hard to get a Twitch sub button, and that can only happen if we have a lot of people here watching for a good period of time. So I'm hoping within the next month or so, I can ask Twitch for a button, and it's all thanks to you guys being here. Of course, all you have to do is watch and just interact and chill out here first stream i've been in ever i love the content and good luck getting the sub -item. thank you kami i appreciate it man missed a dragon fight kappa all right here we are so remember last time they pretty much one shot me they still hurt but at least we can fight back so we have two guns here like this one looks stronger but honestly this is still more dps and we saw that while well, oh my god my eye ah my eye Ah, it hurts. Oh, God, I'm petrified. I'm petrified. Are you, like, joking right now? Yeah, we got... Oh, God. See, everything still hurts. <laughs> yeah, we got extremely petrified right there. And we were able to check with the mannequin which one is stronger. I'm going to die right now. I don't have any healing. God dang it. It hurts. We'll use the sparky one. Okay, look at that. We have 580 health. I should probably just use a potion for this portion because we do have infinite potions. All we have to do is purchase them. Pretty, pretty easy. Okay, here we go. Some of the solar pillar mobs can reflect bullets. That because you die so fast. Uh, I'll try to watch out for the reflected bullets, man. Thank you. Alright. But yeah, it looks like they're, we're getting a lot of Hellcaster fragments. I am going to look at what they do after I finish off this pillar. We'll look at it and then we'll move on to the next one from there. So we'll try our hardest to farm these things. Anyone? I'm, you know, I am taking the time to grab these, these freaking fragments. It could lead to my death. Oh, what's that? Ooh, crystal blade. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab all the fragments in the air later. Let's go over here and chill out next to the... Where is it at? Here it is. Oh, there it is. Wow, look at that thing. It's... What? Oh, you shitting me? Oh, my... Oh, gee. It's... I don't know if you guys saw the prefix here. It said, uh... The Immortal? That's pretty hilarious. Okay, here we go. Woo! There we go. You know what? No, it's, it's not going to be... Okay, here, okay. here's the problem that I'm seeing. I've never ever had a pillar have the immortal. So either it's going to... I'm going to kill it, and it's going to respawn with a shield, or without a shield. Best case scenario, without a shield, 
and all we get is just a lot of whatever it drops. If it ends up having a shield, then, well, we're gonna be here a while, aren't we, guys? Okay, so, we're doing really well so far, and we haven't died, this is good. We have our potion, which is awesome. Let's just chill out here. Kill these guys before they get to me, that's the best part. I'm mortal, I'm screwed. <laughs> 10 years on a pillar. Uh, sh yeah, we'll see, we'll find out. All right, here we go. Oh, there it is, okay, here we go, here we go. Let's find out what happens. If you relog, they go away. Then we'll, there's no point in playing with the, uh, there's no point in playing the way I'm playing if I'm not gonna go for it. Might as well just un uninstall the mod, you know? It has arrived. I should have picked up a couple of more crystal plumes here. There you go, I killed it. Did it respawn? No, it, huh, it didn't respawn. Hmm, that's funny. I guess, uh, I got Nova Fragments over that. All right, guys, it looks like even though it has Immortal, it just doesn't respawn because it can't. If that, if, if that makes any sense, it can't because I'm, cause I'm still in this event. So good, good, good thing it didn't respawn there. That would have been terrible. And let's see, I'll probably just go to the next uh, pillar to the right of this one. I don't know what, which one it's going to be, but it should be easier. Next to the stripper. Yeah, Immortal, man. I was hoping for at least something else, but eh. Let's start off with the Hellcaster Fragment. Okay, looking at this. Ooh, we got the Shadow Spec Bars. Awesome. Hellcaster Fragments combined with the Shadow Essence, which... If you remember from the dungeon, we already have a bunch of shadow essences. Ectoplasm easy. Now it's just the bar of life, which I'm not sure how to craft. Maybe we can find it here. Life. Bar of life is right here. All you need is Versteltite, Dradon, and Corruptix. Well, I got the vanilla solar fragment, which it's a lot of stuff. Let's take a peek at this. Uh, fragment blocks, whatever. Okay. It's this Galactica Singularity. You need all five for a Mithril Anvil. I feel like we're probably going to be farming for this. Oblivion Forge. This is what I need right here. Oh my god. Look at that. Oblivion Forge. Oh god. Okay, so the Oblivion Forge, Ancient Waters. Oh my god. Look at that. Consumable summons the Serpent of Flames. This is another new boss using flame wood. I don't know how to obtain flame wood. Maybe a new something new or something all right that's gonna be cool and then a key of obliteration another boss so oblivion forge has to be we have to craft that thing man we have to craft that thing out of the whole playthrough of my terraria season of the season i've only obtained 58 shards do you guys know of an of a um a better way to get shards other you know other than randomly finding them like i have seems like i probably pick them up at night but the enemy just has to show up the master <laughs> vortex pillar the master ninja what the hell does that mean he probably dodged some of my attacks and if you're wondering why my map is uncovered that's because i had to like i said i had to test out the mods and figure out which one was making my game go stupid crazy with enemies being almost invincible What's the best weapon I've ever held? It was probably last season called the Void Bow. The Void Bow was really strong, but then again, I also had an extremely strong mod to go along with it. Okay, so I'm gonna assume that we're probably gonna get some sort of similar type of item from this. Hold on. Where is this damn? There it is. This is the ninja. He's hidden. Look, it's just a big old... Look, look, I'm hiding in it now. Look, I'm just hiding in here. Master Ninja. So he's just hidden away. Good for him. Alright. So this... Oh my god. So Solar Pillar has been completed and done. Um, the rest of these should be a cakewalk. I just completed Solar Pillar first because it was right there. Yep. Like, I, like I, I, I'm pretty freaking sure the stripper's still stronger. Like, this looks like it does way more damage and it's faster but with every like one shot that the stripper does it's like a quarter shot that the other thing does because it shoots like five at once besides the numbers don't lie the uh dumbing uh, the training dummy showed we did like 1000 more dps easy with this so <laughs> stripper's too good 